I recently left my job and I've noticed every time I make a big change in my life, whether it's something I'm looking forward to or not, there's always a few weeks of shakiness in between where I feel the change, but I'm not yet grounded in it. And my brain kind of just shuts down from overload. Then I subsequently start to fall back into old patterns. When this happens, I know this is my body's way of telling me to slow down and get grounded. But I'm still trying to grasp the concept of rest being beneficial and not something that is considered lazy. The voice in my head telling me I could be doing more, that I'm falling behind, still show up from time to time. But I know from past experiences that pushing through and forcing myself to keep going hasn't always been the best idea. In fact, that's when I start to see the most delays and setbacks. So maybe hustle culture is wrong and maybe you shouldn't spread yourself so thin and just maybe less can be more. I'm about to get ready for lunch. Today we are having papaya. Ah, holy grail. Mm. Papayas have a lot of different kind of, you know, health benefits, antioxidants, different vitamins. But the thing I hear them use most for, at least in the spiritual community or in the health community, whoever, you know, are the seeds. The seeds are said to be toxic to parasites. So many people eat them to clear the parasites out of their body. Here I am just spooning them out into a container. Once you get them all out, you you should strain them so you're not left with fruit. And also you should sit them out to dry. And you can keep these. What you do is take one spoonful or like a teaspoonful each day. So about 15 to 20 seeds. And this is my first time doing it, but many people have said that they've seen parasites come out after just consuming these one time. So if you do it daily, you'll definitely get them out. And they can be toxic if you eat too many in one sitting. So it is important that you dose yourself and you only take about a teaspoonful. So they can be dangerous. And people have even said after taking these, they've had parasites coming out of their ears and their eyes. Now, if I see a parasite coming out of my ear or out of my eye, just know my next video will definitely be at a psychiatric hospital because no, because I don't want to see that, you know, but I rather them outside of my body than inside of my body. So since I've been on this journey of trying to figure out what's good for my body without, you know, having society or whoever tell me what I should be doing, I've came upon this guy called Yaki on YouTube, pretty cool dude, but he talks about how when we're looking for what's good to eat, we should look into nature. When we're looking for anything, and pertaining to our body we should look into nature or who has the same hand as you do we have the same hands as lions tigers and bears no they have paws they have claws who has a hand like ours monkeys have hands like ours what about our legs our legs do we have strong hind legs that will make us super fast in order to catch our prey no we don't or even our teeth look into our teeth a lot of research has actually already been done about our teeth. Do we have really strong carnivore teeth that could easily bite through flesh? Or do we have really flat, dull teeth that's meant to eat like grass all day? Think cows, horses, you know, do we have teeth like horses? Mm, not really. Or there are animals that are in between that are omnivores that have both really sharp teeth and really flat teeth. Also a fourth one that's called huge divorce. Huge divorce? I don't know. They are what monkeys have. Our teeth looks a lot how monkeys look. What do they eat? They eat fruits. They have some veggies in their diet, maybe whatever they can find nuts like that, but they don't eat meat. They don't just eat grass. They mainly eat fruit. And back to the thing with our hand. We have thumbs. We have all these fingers. I mean, look at how our body is made. We can literally grab high because we have long arms, long legs, and reach to grab the fruit pull the fruit off and eat it you know it sounds right to me ever since i've done my fast a few weeks ago i've just been eating pretty much time just though i've been eating pretty much fruit some spinach some some vegetables here and there occasionally nuts but mostly just fruit and i'm feeling great like physically my body feels better than it has in the past on just eating fruits so all this stuff about you need more protein and this and that you can get all that from fruit 
first of all. Second of all, who says that we need as much protein as they, they say we do? I think they say we need about 28 grams of protein a day. I mean, yeah, if you're in the gym and you're trying to get some gains and you're trying to get muscular, then maybe, yeah, eat more protein. But for a regular diet, I don't think you, you could probably slash that number in half and be fine. Even less, you know, I eat a lot of avocados, which is a fruit, by the way. I don't know why I didn't know that was a fruit. I thought that was a vegetable, but I eat a lot of avocados, which has, a, you know, a few grams of protein in it. I don't think I've been getting as much protein as, I mean, I haven't been getting nearly as much protein as they say we need. And I feel stronger than ever. So it really feels good to do what feels right and not just do what these people who don't even have your best interest in mind want you to do. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running from the law, hope they won't shoot me down soon. Catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Morning, guys. So I made it to the hot springs. I'm butt naked. So I just hiked one mile uphill in the dark to get here because I wanted to watch sunrise and I was so afraid that I was gonna run into a mountain lion. But I didn't, I'm here, I'm safe. This water feels so good. There's about like 10 pools out here and it's so beautiful, so tranquil. I'm the only one up here so far. So I got the place all to myself. Oh, I needed this. <laughs> you guys gotta see this place. Let me show you this place. When it rains, it pours. Water's up to my chin. Won't I fight it to the very end? Many men try to reach it. Remember when I said I came up here to watch the sunrise? Well, actually. The moon is rising. You gotta raise a little I decided to hike down a little further to this other pool that I know about. It's like VIP pool. You know, you only know about this pool if you know somebody that knows somebody. <laughs> and actually, it's pretty hard to get to, but it's in a cave, so it's worth it, dude. So you have to actually, to, in order to get down there, I'm not even joking. In order to get down there. You have to grab onto a rope and like pull your way down there on the rope. So here's the setup. Shit, it's getting muddy. Grab onto this rope and pull your way down. So <laughs> let's do this. which is amazing because anybody who knows me knows I'm clumsy as hell. Oh my gosh, guys, this place is so beautiful. On this side, you have the river. And on this side, you have the hot spring. And look at all these minerals on the wall, on the wall of the hot spring. It's so beautiful. fucking bat bro i feel like they're sending shots but i've heard them a few times i'm getting the fuck out of here when the 
Before I leave this area, there's one last place that I wanted to check out real quick. It's called Topati Falls. It's about a half a mile from the parking lot. And I'm just walking through this forest. I've never seen this place, so I'm excited to see what it's all about. Look at this thing. I can feel the energy from it all the way over here. I'm just gonna sit here and take this all in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash the like button and I'll see you in the next video.